All in's a concept of three uh, pillars, the first one being character, the second one being school, and the third one being football. Um, you know, for us, character is the, the most important, that's why it's our number one. Um, it really focuses on uh, the respect, uh, integrity, and kids showing resolve, uh, being able to finish things. Um, our second pillar is obviously uh, school, and, and in school, you know, they have to be eligible. Uh, they got to be respectful in the classroom, and they got to take care and manage their grades. Um, the third one, in football, uh, the one thing that sticks out to us is showing up on time and being there for your teammates. Well, what I could bring to this team is no matter what, I'm going to give max effort. I'm going to go all out, and I have football IQ where I could play multiple positions on the field, whatever. Uh, I need a play I can do, and I'm gonna give it my all. And um, yeah, I know how to run routes from every receiver's position, and I'm confident that I could beat the guy in front of me. Stand on things that we can control, whether it be as small as breathing, whether it be, you know, again, being in the classroom. The guys over here is dicking around. We can't control that guy, but we can control us watching and make sure that we're paying attention to the teacher, learning as much as we can. There's things in life that we have no control over. I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be a lot more, a lot. How are you gonna deal with those things? When those times are presented, and usually it's when you least expect it, how, how do you respond? What's your outlook? Because depending on how you respond and your outlook on the situation is gonna depend on the outcome at the end of that. Now let's relate that to the football. Depending on how we go into the season mentally, do you think that will translate itself to the end of the season? Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. Let's just say we did we did absolutely nothing all off season. Do you think it would show up in August? It would show up. When you do something, it shows up. When you don't do something, it shows up. And I'll tell you right now, it's going to show up in games. We've been doing something, but we will play teams that haven't, and it will show up in games. So the point of this, and you guys got, you guys got some homework on that worksheet. On, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to fill out the first part about, about the video we just watched. Then when you guys go home, the second page is for you. The, the, the wording at the bottom will tell you what, what you're supposed to be doing. That's for you. Okay? So let's make sure that we, like I said, take care of these binders. We're bringing them every day.
What All In has done for the program is uh, it's basically it's, it's developed this idea um, and with the idea everyone has grasped, um, has changed culture. Um, I mean, you, you hear it from the community, parents, and even uh, the school administrators, teachers have explained it to me. Um, the kids are you know, respectful, the kids uh, have, have uh, a sense of pride. Um, it just, it's just, it's made it where they could uh, they could, you know, be prideful in their school and and know that, uh, you know, there's there's something to look forward to, um, and being a part of something. Um, I, d I have seen tremendous growth within the kids. Um, you know, their brotherhood. It's been, you know, it's been tighter. Uh, you know, just their, just their uh, camaraderie that they've developed. Um, and it was a simple concept, um, and you know, they made it their own able to uh, apply and, and I've seen a lot of success come from it. Players on the team. <laughs> you took 78 minutes. Yeah. Did you say you were going to start running with us? Who's that say that? I said speed training. I said speed training. That's the wrong coach. You said you were going to start running with us. That's the wrong coach. I want to see you all. What are you guys about to do right now? Gassers. You know what it is? Look at that conditioning. Last day of conditioning? You guys have 20 seconds. 20 seconds. We have what a generous man. Like spinning like, like, did he say 10? It goes out in the air, you. Hey, I would. Let's go. Hey, 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 Frankie's thinking, just two more, he'll be too tired to continue and I'll beat him from there. Frank, let's go. Get up and breathe. Get up and breathe. Get up and breathe. Come on. It's all mental. It's all mental. Leave it on the field, leave it on the field. Great, let's go. Great, let's go. Great, let's go. Good work, no balls. Good work, no balls. Stand up, Daniel, stand up. Hey, we're staying. Control your breathing. Don't shut down now, because it's over. You still got to control your breathing. Your heart rate back down. Let's go, let's go. Get up, Bezzy. Heart rate back down. I've been here in high school. I think the, the concept that I've truly learned and I found most important was the concept of all in. Because what I took from the concept of All In was that you got to sacrifice your time on and off the field in order to put the right amount of effort, whether it is school or during the, during any any athletic practice, because it shows that when you put in your right amount of time and sacrifice, you can go far in life. 
tomorrow's our first day, okay? Tomorrow's our first day of being able to go live. And, and again, you know, when we talk about going live, people go, you know, into these, you know, oh yeah, I can't wait to crack everybody. That's fine, you know, and be aggressive. That's that's a, that's a perfect mentality. If I if I'm the guy, I couldn't wait till when Paz got on. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I was the one that showed everybody that I was the toughest guy. Now, obviously, the the game has changed, right, for us. You know, no more are you just gonna go like this. You know, bam, 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 bam. Okay. But there's other things that need to go along with this. You know, there's there's uh, expectations. There is a little toughness type of factor. And coaches are gonna come up with something that doesn't doesn't take this all the time. Okay. But we're gonna come up with something that will kind of uh, translate to what we do on the field. Yeah, baby, push the pads. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Year, uh, going into this off season, uh, all I've been doing is just lifting weights, speed training, working hard with my boys. So I'm most excited for is playing with my boys and also working hard on the field. And so, how do you think that the 2017 Nobles did in the off season? I felt like we did really good, and I felt like we were all, all in and dedicated, and I felt like we grew as a team, and we all bonded together, and like we're ready, we're ready for season. To be patient last season, what are you most excited about going into 2017? What I'm most excited about is is being the guy and uh, running running the whole offense, and just I've been waiting, I've been waiting two years ever since my sophomore year to be the guy. And I finally got the torch passed down to me. And I feel like uh, as an offense, we have playmakers all around the field, whether it's on the line, whether it's at receiver, whether it's at running back. Everyone's a playmaker. And um, I believe as a playmaker myself that we can all just get together and be a, a, big, a big dangerous unit on the field. And I believe that I've grown mentally and physically as a player throughout all two years. And now that like I run the whole offense and I'm the leader, of everyone on the field now that I need to step up and it's going to be a very exciting season so stay tuned. <laughs>